So hey everybody, look what's going on. My name is Terry, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys and gals are doing well. And I really hope everything looks good here. I'm using a really cheap ND filter to have a shutter speed that matches the frame rate. So hopefully everything looks okay. But everybody look what is going on again. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today I just wanna sit here and talk about for a second. Um, I, I can't remember the streamer's name, but if I figure it out, if I remember it, I'll put a little thing right here for it or I'll do a little voice over talking about who this person is but it's lily pichu if i butcher that or if i mispronounced it i apologize but that's the new streamer that just moved over to youtube that i was talking about anyway uh back to the video a streamer that has been on twitch for the past decade has recently made the switch over to youtube gaming and everybody out there is freaking out about it like oh my god this is the death of twitch i can't believe twitch is dying now so many big names have left and the thing that everybody has to remember about this, and I don't mean to try to, you know, make light or to, you know, not say it's not a big deal because it is a big deal. Okay, whenever a large established creator leaves one platform to go to another, that is a very, very big deal. But at the same time, though, in my opinion, it's really nothing we should worry ourselves about this person leaving does not affect you or i or any other smaller to mid-sized creator on the platform at all whatsoever and on top of that you got to keep remembering here okay folks you got to keep in this here in mind that these big name streamers that have left twitch to go to other platforms primarily youtube gaming have not done so by themselves other than Dr. Disrespect, because he was banned on Twitch, and then of course Alpha Gamings, or now Senpai Gamings, Harris Heller. He moved from Twitch to YouTube Gaming because he thought it was going to be a better financial decision for him in the future. But you know, Dr. Disrespect and Harris Heller, from to my knowledge here, they weren't offered contracts to move over for a large sum of money to stream for a year or whatever it might be for the contract term, you know what I mean? So. People like Tim the Tapman, Dr. Lupo, uh, Sukuno, and, uh, you know, Ray, and all those other big streamers, you know, they all got paid huge contracts to move over to YouTube gaming. They didn't do it, not necessarily by their own free will, but they didn't do it by themselves without any sort of financial incentive to do so. You know what I mean? So, I totally get how people can sit here and say, oh, well, they were the faces of Twitch, you know, now they're on YouTube and this can be the downfall of Twitch. And the truth of the matter here is, folks, is that it's not the downfall of Twitch, not even a little bit, you know, we are Twitch. The people that stream there are Twitch. And as long as people are still there to make content, Twitch will be around for a very, very long time. Now. I understand that so many people out there aren't happy with Twitch's revenue split. I am one of them. I agree wholeheartedly that they do need to up their game a lot to really make sure that they are paying their creators fairly, okay? And heck, you know, if I was in the same boat as well as one of these large creators and if YouTube Gaming came to me and said, Hey, Terry, we'll pay you $10 million to stream on YouTube Gaming for a year. If I wasn't happy with my contracts, you know, being negotiated on Twitch to my liking or to where it didn't favor me and my family fine financially and, you know, Twitch just didn't give me a good enough counter offer, heck yeah, I would say, yeah, sign me up to YouTube Gaming for an exclusive deal and I'll make content there for a year, see how it goes and we'll renegotiate whenever that time might come, you know? So, again, from a financial business point of view, I totally understand where these huge creators are coming from. I really do. But whenever you boil it down though, Twitch is primarily made up of people like myself, you know, people that average under 10 viewers. And a matter of fact, if you average over 20 viewers, 20 to 30 viewers, I actually believe you are in like the top five, the top 1% of Twitch with only averaging anywhere between 20 to 30 viewers per stream or per for the month, you know what I mean? So if you average below 10 viewers, you are in the, the vast majority of people on Twitch as a whole. And that is primarily what makes up Twitch, in my opinion, just based off what I've seen in my community and in my circle. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't those standout cases where some affiliates out there do make quite a bit of money. And a matter of fact, the only thing that is stopping them from having a you know partnership check mark by their name is just twitch just either a hasn't got around to their application or they just keep turning them down for whatever reason they want to be turning down people for you know what i mean so again here folks um i really do not believe 
y'all have anything to worry about whenever it comes to Twitch. I don't see them going anywhere for a very, very long time. And a matter of fact, if you want to, you know, double dip and stream on YouTube as well, especially if you're an affiliate, just as long as you're not multicasting with something like, you know, Restream.io or something, you can stream on YouTube as well. Like have different days for different platforms. Like, you know, you can have like YouTube Fridays and Twitch Tuesdays or whatever you want to call it. Just double dip if you want. Or a matter of fact, like what you should always be doing here too, everybody, is you should always be making content for other platforms regardless of where you're streaming from. So if you make content over on Twitch, you should also be uploading clips to YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Uh, Facebook if you want to, although I don't really know how gaming stuff goes on Facebook these days. I haven't looked at Facebook gaming in like quite literally years. But, you know, ev even something like YouTube Reels for their short form stuff. I mean, people have been blowing up on YouTube lately just for posting short form content in relation to their Twitch stuff. You know what I mean? So... Like everybody says, it might be as you know, it might be very, very cliche to say, but you should never put all of your eggs in one basket whenever it comes to making content. That includes streaming. That that includes making clips. That includes making compilations. I know a lot of people out there say that compilations don't do as good, but hey, you know what? As long as you're putting content out there for people to see, people just might tune in on Twitch so they can see you live and see how you operate in the moment without anything edited. You know what I mean? So. Look, again fam, I know I've said this once in this video and I will say it again, no, Twitch is not dying, Twitch is not going anywhere, and I really wish people would stop saying that kind of thing, I really do. I am by no means a Twitch fanboy, I love all platforms, but again, we all know that Twitch is the biggest out there and that is for a reason. Whenever you think of live stream content, it's always, oh, you streamed, you stream on Twitch. It's never, oh, hey, you streamed, you stream on Facebook Gaming, YouTube, Trovo. You know what I mean? Like, everybody recognizes Twitch as the behemoth that it is. You know, whether that's for better or for worse, we all know that Twitch has done some stupid stuff in the past, and they keep coming out with new features, and, and, and they are trying, I think. I really do think they are trying, but hopefully whenever it comes to the you know revenue split they will listen to us creators and give us what we want because as i said a second ago we are twitch without us to put content on the platform they wouldn't exist you know what i mean so everybody look what do y'all think do me a favor sound off in the comments below i love your faces hope y'all are having a wonderful weekend and as always happy streaming